seen some uh, posts on social media this morning. Michelle, people saying it looks and sort of feels like spring out there right now. Yeah, so this Patrick has been an average late March morning temperatures in the mid and upper 30s sun shining. We're going to end up probably just a couple of degrees cooler than normal today, but overall it's a pretty nice Tuesday and our radar is quiet making that trip into work and school a little bit easier here this morning. We are keeping our eye on a fast moving and small system that's two hour west right now. It's going to come close to us this evening and tonight may be close enough to bring us some light rain and snow showers near the coastline, maybe some sprinkles and flurries further inland, but that's later this evening. So this morning and this afternoon, our threat tracker future cast is low. All right, this afternoon and Narragansett, while we start off the day with sunshine, likely finish the day with clouds rolling in. It's a beautiful morning. The sun glistening off the water there and the temperature already up into the upper 30s, 38 in Providence, 37 in Smithfield, 39 now in Boston. Wind chill, it's in the uh, low 30s in Providence, Newport, New Bedford, feels around 32 degrees in Boston. Those temperatures on the way up, Smithfield now, Reporting 39 degrees, similar in Warwick, and we've actually climbed about 41 in Coventry and in Tiverton. Winds today from the west southwest, they'll gust at times up to 15 miles per hour, but most of the day, a 5 to 10 mile an hour wind expected. So overall, again, we keep the clouds away through the morning and early afternoon. This is the batch of precipitation crossing into parts of Pennsylvania, southwestern New York right now. This is going to be moving towards the south and east. So again, it dives south of us, but especially the coastline, we got to watch, make it clipped by just a period of some very light rain and later in the night snow. So here's noon today, still mainly sunny skies, clouds starting to advance in from the west by the end of the afternoon. Here are those showers again. I think uh, by the evening commute, we may see a sprinkle in spots, but it's really uh, between say seven, eight o'clock this evening up until about midnight when we have that chance of this precipitation. You see the green two hours south. If it jogs just a little bit further north again, we're going to see some light rain and some light snow. So clearing skies by tomorrow morning and another nice day on Wednesday, though still cooler than normal for your April Fool's Day. Diane o'clock this morning. I want to show you that closer view here with the increasing clouds through the afternoon and that chance for just a few showers here for the early part of the evening. So obviously most at risk is going to be our coastal communities westerly to New Bedford. And as the temperatures cool this evening and tonight, there's the chance for maybe small slushy accumulation on just the grass or your car tops inland just a sprinkle or a flurry possible. So this morning we go from 40 degrees here at nine o'clock to 48 near 50 for the afternoon sun to late day clouds tonight as the sky is clear those temperatures will drop to about 30 degrees with those showers ending seven day future cast so it's really late in the week that we have our best chance of widespread showers and it's that point that the temperatures start to warm so 51 on thursday near 60 on friday very mild but showers are likely especially friday night looks like they'll end saturday morning colder air coming in and it leads to a cool but dry easter day on sunday